outside, it's pouring down rain. A bomb cyclone or atmospherical river or some other such adjective. Well, inside, we got action too. So let's roll with it, baby, because the cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Everybody picking up on that feed line B. Home team, St. Ignatius. And the visitors. Visiting from near and afar, the Reardon Crusaders, with players from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Cameroon, New Zealand, and of course, the great city by the bay. Well, tonight, they're going to find out all about big man on campus, John Squire. The entry pass from Theo Lamb squeaks by the defenders, and when the 6'7 center John Squire has position like that, he's going to be a tough proposition to handle. And El Gato Grande is more than just a one-dimensional player. The big man got wiggles. Top of the key. Shake. First step. And gone. Big Daddy Wiggles taking it to him in the early going. But it'll be this Batman. When is being alone not such a bad thing? Answer, when you're beyond the three-point line. And that's where Nathan Shamala finds himself, and he makes the most of it, capitalizing on the situation for three points of his own. Purple provides a powerful punch inside as well. Yasir Rencher with the sneaky pass, Christian Wise with the rise. And he's not done levitating either. Good things happen to those who move without the ball, and while the dunk is the star of the show, let's see what it takes to make that star shine in another episode of Spotlight in the Sky. Bing! Copyright. Bing, bing! It's Kaya Berridge who makes the whole dang thing possible. He's actually beyond the three-point line when the shot is taken. But he ain't waiting for the action to come to him. He goes to the action, snatches the boards, and that's a funky pass. The owl doth fly. And in sports, you don't have to say I'm sorry, but you do have to say thank you. And the wise ones know this. Purple up by 4, 17, 13 at the end of the first quarter. Into the second quarter now, it's basic basketball. Fake the pass, up fake, keep the pivot foot planted, and it will get you far. Example number one, Andrew Hillman shows you how it's done. Don't stand around watching the paint dry. Yeah, I got that from that Hoosiers movie, but still, move without the ball and Zachary Jones knows this man but you gotta get back dude you gotta get back sneaky steal the ball gets behind the defense and he finishes in fine fashion on the business end of the break Andrew Hillman breaks down the defense with the spin and drive and sugar dime elevator up Yasir Rencher to the top floor Crusaders doing what Crusaders do, they keep marching. And the cat's got to take a T.O. to try to slow Big Mo. And it's Mr. LaVar who responds. He lives up to his name, then quickly looks up court. Raymond Whitley with the nifty layup, squeaking it in there between two defenders. Reardon quickly returns favor. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything I can do... Something like that. Nathan Shamala with the steal and stuff. That's a two for you Wednesday night special. But Craycore Karaguzian ain't buying into that. He steps behind the line with his superhuman, his three point kryptonite. Killer Craycore was your top scorer with a game high 17 on the night. Achilles Wilson uses his body's momentum to step into a sweet and easy three-point stroke. Reardon doubled him up in the second quarter, 18 to nine, to take an 11-point, 35-24 halftime lead. 
but this Karaguzian don't like losing in the third quarter. He drives and kicks. Marcus Bast with a hand in his face drops down the triple. No problem. Next time, Killer Kracor just drives, no kick, all the way to the glass. Well, check that. He is kicking that aspect of his game up a notch. Despite the dangerous wordplay, Reardon would keep him at arm's length. Yasir Rencher throws it down off the inbounds, and then it's time for the turnaround, spin around, get down. Christian Wise is good to go with moves to show. In case you didn't know, now you know. And sometimes it takes three to make three. The rebound push and pass from Yasir, the 6'5", 10th grader. Wise, smart move, inside out. And Achilles kills these threes. His team up double digits at the end of the third. Can the Cats close the gap in the fourth quarter? Raymond Whitley finds himself all alone in a three-point zone. He dials it up. The kid is just a freshman getting quality minutes with the varsity squad. Kaya Barrage, the purple Kiwi, continued to impress with his particular set of skills, the sticky grippy handles, plus the extendo finish. Reardon puts together four strong quarters and they will take home the victory over their longtime crosstown rival. What's in the future for you as far as basketball is concerned? Uh, hopefully playing at a D1 college, hopefully playing college somewhere. I just uh, want to play at the best level I can and uh, keep moving forward and take my career as far as possible. What do you do, you know, mentally, emotionally, just to keep your team in games, to be a leader? Uh, well, you know, it's a lot of talking. I got to talk to a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes get in their own head and you have to kind of remind them that uh, we're still in the middle of a game and we can worry about whatever else after and do whatever it takes to win. Uh, you got to build a lot of camaraderie with the dudes on your team. Make sure that the relationships are strong, first and foremost, so that uh, nothing that you say is ever taken with any malice. Is it fun for you out there? Oh yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun to compete. I love I love the game of basketball and I love playing against people I know. This is a, this is a great game, this is a rivalry game. This, very fun game. So you know uh, dudes on the other side? I know John Squire. I played with him uh, on Lake Show Basketball uh, for AAU my sophomore summer, I believe. So tell me about the difference between when you're, when you're playing them on the court and then when it's over and you shake hands. Um, we're competitors. So when we're out there, we're there to compete, first and foremost. Uh, I can still be cool with dudes before and after the game, but when we're, we're going out there, it's cutthroat. Uh, but afterwards, it's, it's nothing personal. We can still be friends. It's just business. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.